Hey y'all, it's Lady of the House, and I'm back with another video. So if you want to see how I got this custom sequin pillow, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go over to Photoshop and open up a new mat. You're going to go up to File, New. Um, my size is custom and my mat is 13 by 19 because I'm using sublimation paper. So once you get all of that in, you're going to click OK and it's going to open everything up for you. And it's loading. So once everything loads up, you're going to go back over the file, go down to place, and then from there, you'll search on your computer or your desktop or whatever for the image you want to use. I'm going to use one of the images from the video I did when I made that pillow, and that's on my channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. So once you load that in, you want to go up to the top where the W and the H are for width and height. You want to click the little box in between the two so your proportions are kept the same and then from there you can go in and alter the size and mine turned out to be a seven by eight seven by eight and a half i believe so once you put that in you just want to drag your image up to the top of the screen not all the not the screen i'm sorry but to the paper not all the way to the top nudge it down a little bit and place it in the middle that way when it prints it'll print in that spot on your paper then you're going to go over the file Go down to print, and from there on, send it to your printer. So the pillow we're pressing on today, I got it from Dollar Tree, and it's just one of these flip sequin pillows. You can honestly print on either side of the sequins, but I would not recommend printing on the colored side as your image may not be as opaque as it could be on the silver side or white, depending on what the lighter side of your pillow consists of. So I have one that's already flipped back to all of the silver sequins, and I'm going to be pressing on that. When I place it down, I'm going to use some Teflon tape and just wrap my image around it. And then I'm going to press it for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Don't forget to tuck the tag before you press and cover your pillow with your Teflon paper, wax paper, parchment, whatever you choose to use. So once you take it up, it will be a little bit hot. I'm always a little timid when I'm taking things off the press because I've experienced some hot things before. So you just want to unwrap it and you can definitely tell that this one did a really good print because when I took my paper off the top, it had bled through the top paper that was already taped to it. And this is what you end up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you try this at home. Um, tag me in pictures. I really, really, really want to see how y'all turned out. And that's just what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and let me know what you want to see from me.